Hello, my name is Kurt Munzer, a pulmonary and critical care fellow at St. Louis University Hospital. My colleague, Dr. Aaron Miller, will narrate a case recently encountered at our institution. We are now going to review bronchoscopic footage from an actual patient who accidentally swallowed a pushpin. The pushpin was seen on chest x-ray to be located in either the right bronchus intermedius or in the right lower lobe. The bronchoscope is seen here advancing through the endotracheal tube. As the bronchoscope exits the endotracheal tube, the main carina comes into view. The bronchoscope is now shown advancing down the right main stem bronchus and then to the bronchus intermedius. From the bronchus intermedius, you can see the sharp end of the pushpin facing the bronchoscope. The pushpin is stuck in the right lower lobe. The right middle lobe is partially visualized to the medial aspect of the pushpin. Since the pushpin is colorless, it was difficult to clearly differentiate respiratory secretions from the edge of the pushpin. The bronchoscopist has an array of tools to assist with foreign body removal. Forceps are the most commonly utilized. Baskets may be helpful in the retrieval of large or rounded objects. Snares are often utilized to assist with retrieval. A magnetic probe may be useful to retrieve ferromagnetic objects. If the foreign body is lodged distally, balloon catheters may be utilized to withdraw the foreign body to a more proximal segment. Cryotherapy is commonly utilized to retrieve organic objects. Additionally, cryotherapy may be required to remove granulation tissue. Often, a bronchoscopist utilizes multiple tools with each foreign body retrieval. For our first attempt to remove the pin, we use the 12 millimeter airway retrieval basket. When the basket is deployed, a meshwork of flexible wire with a circumferential shape comes into view. The purpose of the basket is to loop the flexible wire around the foreign body and then tighten the loop around the foreign object, allowing it to be removed. We try to gently push the retrieval basket beyond the pin so that we could snare it and remove it. As you can see from the video, we were unable to successfully advance the basket beyond the pin despite multiple attempts. For our second attempt, we decided to use the 2.8 millimeter biopsy forceps to grab the sharp tip on the push pin and pull it out. We were able to successfully bite the tip of the pin with the biopsy forceps. We slowly and carefully removed the push pin from the right lower lobe. Unfortunately, we were not able to pull the push pin into the distal endotracheal tube. Additionally, we were concerned that if we removed the endotracheal tube and the foreign body together using the biopsy forceps, the push pin would become dislodged and fall back into the airway. Therefore, we decided to carefully drop the push pin into the right main stem airway and try to retrieve it again with the retrieval basket. Here is the push pin in the right main stem bronchus where we placed it. For our third and final attempt to remove the push pin, we will again use the airway retrieval basket. Here you can see the retrieval basket. Again, we want the retrieval basket to pass the push pin distally so that we can snare the plastic end of the push pin with the retrieval basket. On this attempt, we were able to successfully advance the basket past the push pin as you can see here. We deployed the basket behind the push pin and successfully snared the plastic part of the pin after a couple of attempts. With the push pin now securely captured by the basket, we carefully pulled the push pin to the distal tip of the endotracheal tube. Once we got the pin to the distal tip of the endotracheal tube, we paused for a minute to ensure that we had the appropriate equipment ready to reintubate the patient. The push pin and the endotracheal tube will now need to be removed simultaneously.
With everything ready, the pushpin and the endotracheal tube are now removed simultaneously. We had another endotracheal tube ready so the patient could be quickly reintubated. Once the pushpin was removed, we went back down for an inspection of the right-sided airways. Here is the bronchoscope advancing down the newly placed endotracheal tube. The scope is subsequently advanced down the right main stem to the right bronchus intermedius. The right lower lobe is now patent with some residual clear secretions which were suctioned out. This concludes our educational video about foreign body removal. Thank you for watching.